What's up, little artists? Today we're going to do photo doodle mashups where we bring everyday objects to life. For today's art project, you will need everyday objects that we will later bring to life, and you need an electronic device that has a camera on it, such as a phone or an iPad, something that you can take a photo onto and upload to Seesaw. Today we're going to look at illustrator Charlie Clements. She takes photos of everyday objects like onions, garlic, plants, food, and she doodles on them to bring them to life. I find her artwork so fun and refreshing. I guess that's a little octopus. Cute. Scroll down here. Oh, I like this one. This is me during quarantine. <laughs> So you need to look around your house, find some fun objects that you think would be fun to give a personality to. One of the easiest objects to give a personality to are food. So fruits, vegetables, any kind of food that you have in your fridge. So here I have some bananas and I'm looking through these photos and I'm trying to pick the best one. I'm looking for a good photo. So I want lots of light. I want my subject, which is the bananas and the mango in the bowl, to fill up the frame, to fill up the photograph. And I don't want any distractions behind the bananas. So I wanna try to clear a space um, where I can photograph my object without a bunch of weird things behind it. So if you can follow those tips, then you will have a much better photograph that we will doodle on later. Today, I'm gonna show you two different ways to doodle on your photograph. The first way I'm gonna show you is actually in photos. So if you're using like an iPad or an iPhone, you can do it in photos. If you have a stylus, you could even use your stylus to draw. If you don't have any of that, or if you want to do it easier way, once you take your photograph, you can upload it into Seesaw, and then you can use Seesaw to draw right on top of your photo. So let's get started with the photo way first. All right, I have chosen my best photo. Now I'm going to go to edit on the top right hand corner. Up in the top right hand corner, again, I see three little dots. I will press that and it will take me to markup where you see the little marker. Once you're in here, you are good to go. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can press the pin here and choose your drawing size. And I'm gonna draw with black marker. All right, let's draw an eye. How about two little sleepy eyes and a little smiley? Let's bring this banana to life. And then I'll give Mr. Banana a face. He's got kind of a brown spot under there, so I darkened it a little bit by going over it a few times. You can draw this part with your finger. If you have an iPad or a tablet, or you can use a stylus if you have an Apple Pencil. Let's make the mango the little baby here. And he's hugging the mommy. So cute, they're little snuggle bunnies. Or snuggle fruits. Or sleepy time fruit bowl. <laughs> awesome. Don't forget when you're done, you want to press done and save your work. Now I am in Seesaw. I'm gonna press upload and go to my photos. And I'm going to allow access. And I'm gonna to go to my camera roll here and I found my good banana photo. And then you're just gonna use Seesaw to doodle right on top of your photo. So 
that you can choose your colors. This might be the easiest way just because you're familiar with Seesaw and you know how, how to work it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's get black here. And then I'm gonna just draw my little banana face. Ooh, that is way too big. Let's go back down here and change the size to a little bit smaller. Draw my little banana face. Awesome. Smileys. Draw my little arm stretching across here. Draw the mommy arm coming, stretching apart across this way. And then the little baby stretching, cuddling. And that's all there is to it. Super easy. If you want to submit that. Oh yeah, let's add a caption. So I press the three little dots over there. I mean the caption button, the one that looks like 99. And then you can give it a title. Maybe I'll say fruit bowl sleepy time. Let's put a little emoji in there too, just for fun. Not there, I guess I have to go down here. Oh yeah, let's go to the little smiley. Where's the sleepy one? There he is. Awesome, and then you can press checkity check so I can see your amazing artwork. Just in case you are wondering how I did the, the paintbrush one, I did it in photos. Remember to take a good photo, you need to fill up the frame you need to have no distractions in the background and you need to make sure that there's good lighting um, for this one I'm using just photos so I'm just I went and pressed edit and went to markup and I like this one because when you are in photos you can zoom in and zoom out on your photo which is really nice to get those little details on the teeny tiny little brush and um, layer your color so this is kind of a little bit more challenging if you want to challenge yourself the next little part is just me drawing all of the doodles on my paintbrush so you can kind of speed through this part or you can kind of slow it down so you can see how to draw things I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with this is gonna be super fun And there you have it. I am the chosen one. That is my favorite paintbrush, just so you know. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you make. Take your time, try your best, and have fun. Bye, friends.